Hello, this is Mike from MF Woodshop. A couple months ago, Inventables contacted me, asked me if I wanted one of their X carves, the 3D carver. And I said, Yeah, I'll take one of those. My wife picked up the boxes for the X carve, so uh, I didn't have to lift them. I did hold the door for her, though. The waste board came in about four days earlier, so I went ahead and put the waste board together first, even though the instructions says that's one of the last steps you do. Unpacking the X carve was kind of fun because there's a lot of parts that I wasn't really expecting, and it was my first look at how many parts there actually was to this thing. So that was a little bit of an eye opener. For the most part, I watched the embedded YouTube videos while putting this together. I'd watch a little bit of the video, do that step, go back to the video, do the next step, so on and so forth, until the x car was assembled. My first motor I put in right here, that was uh, exciting to get to the motors. Don't forget the lubrication on the self-tapping bolts. I used WD-40 and it worked just fine. The belt, just follow the instructions on the belt. It was pretty self-explanatory after you've seen the embedded YouTube video. Tensioning, don't forget to go back on the second and third day to retension the belts because that belt will stretch. And it did on mine. I actually had to redo the entire tensioning process on the third day. There's another look at one of the gears for the stepper motors. I have these really little tiny set screws that you have to put in. There's two of them on each stepper motor. As far as the wiring, I thought it'd be a lot more difficult than what it was. The instructions laid it out quite easily and they tried to keep it as simple as possible by keeping the order of the, the collar code in its a specific order and I, if I remember right it was red, blue, green and black from left to right. I ordered the limit switches for my x carve and the instruction says to solder them here. I think if I had the connectors on hand, I probably would have used connectors. But it was kind of fun getting the soldering iron out. I haven't had it out in a while, and it was kind of fun to solder again. That pretty much ends on day one. On the second day, I didn't film anything. I just went right to work to assemble the X carve and on the second day I got it fully assembled and then on the third day I ended up doing my first carving. All in all it took about 12 hours all said and done. All right, here's where I put my X-Carve. I had this shelving unit, it's a four foot wide shelving unit, that I simply bought a sheet of MDF, 
cut it in half and stack them on top of each other. I put it in the shelving unit and screwed it down to one of the shelves and secured the shelf. The shelf over here for the computer or the Andrino, as you seen me carve out just a minute ago, I made a drawer front using the X-Carve and inside that drawer has some of the tools that I think I'm going to quite frequently use with this machine. Now I opted not to buy the tool kit for the machine so I kind of had to supply my own tools and so far those are the tools that I needed to put this together. So what's my opinion on this machine? I think it's not bad. Definitely some room for improvement for sure. Um, I don't really like how the V wheels with the eccentric nut and you have to adjust those and maybe I'm doing them wrong. I don't know, but it seems like almost after every cut, I have to go back and adjust those to either tighten them up or loosen them. So that's something I need to tweak out and, and I'm sure it's just me. Um, I would highly recommend upgrading the spindle to get a either a quieter one or a stronger one. I think I'm going to go get the Bosch Colt or the DeWalt 611. Inventables just sent me an email today actually saying that they have the mount for the DeWalt 611. So that may be my option that I'm, I go with. I haven't decided yet. But definitely get a stronger spindle. Um, I'm assuming the stepper motors are fine. I, I'm not familiar with the stepper motors and what the difference is between the the uh, bigger ones and this one. Uh, so I don't I don't know if having bigger ones makes that much of a difference or not. It might make a difference if you have a stronger spindle. That's the only thing I'm thinking. As far as the wiring and the overall assembly, great instructions. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of problems putting it together. Actually, I kind of flew right through it, and before I knew it, I had 12 hours in the project. So it was actually fun to put together, and it, it just didn't, it wasn't complicated. It, there's just a lot of steps and a lot of things that you have to do to get from point A to point B. The uh, instructions has embedded YouTube videos that almost strictly I went by. Uh, very little that I actually had to read the text to find out what to do or how to do it. Uh, the only time I got tripped up on the instructions is with the limit switches. Um, I didn't understand how the limit switches got hooked to the Andrino board or the G shield maybe um, so I had to actually read and watch the videos and for the most part take a wild ass guess uh, so I think a little improvement there overall I'm actually pretty impressed with the machine the way it cuts um, a little slow for my taste but I think a bigger heavier router or bigger heavier spindle will correct that problem um, I got a one of my first projects uh, I did my son's name and then I painted the board to paint inside the letters and then I ran the whole thing through the planer and cut like a 10 degree bevel on each side so I think that turned out pretty cool and the drawer front turned out pretty cool too I think and uh, I also made another one for my daughter a little bit bigger made it out of MDF and I did the same process I painted the letters and I ran it through the the planer and that one turned out pretty cool too so that's my uh, my opinion on the X carve and I like to thank uh, Michael Una and uh, uh, Zach for allowing me the opportunity to have the X carve and I think it will be a great addition to my shop that's all I got. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.